They said, how could it have been me? So now Joe and you know Bernard, you guys, the military police and doctors and all that, they have right the data for both ideas, right? Both visions. And so who is in control? Who is always in control? Hmm. So they're the ones laughing because in the end they just gotta do what military and those guys do good best. Police and all them firefighters, they just kind of hold back and take care of themselves, prepare themselves, and then when the little war skirmishes are over, then they have both visions to complete the task. But most of us won't be there because Joe Zillig thinks he's right, he's gotta have the gay spaceship with the triangles, and then Gene Roddenberry and you know William Shatner, who you're gonna probably have a lot more influence than you, Joe, Star Trek, you know, Gene, they had to hire real engineers and developers for what they did. I mean, who are you gonna go with? Hmm. So, Joe, if you were in your little faction there in Paso Robles is caught like molesting kids and shit, who do you think I'd go with? Hmm. I'd probably go with the military and Shatner and Gene Roddenberry. But those are things that are not gonna be seen for quite some time, and if they're going on, we're not seeing them because we gotta sit there and put up with your fucking stupid ass tube issue or whatever multiple times, Joe Zilli and Harry and Bernard and, you know, Ellery's that you censored down. And so you guys got afraid and decided, hey, just, just make a prison and make everybody screwed, right? But eventually that's gonna change because people are gonna get bored and move away. And then I guess you guys would just have a prison population of gays like Ellery and you wanted, Joe. But they'll be sick because they'll have a cure sitting right in front of them and then they'll deny it. 